And we are already seeing a little damage done today in Southwest Miami-Dade. And Local Times' Trent Kelly is live to show us that damage. Trent. Yeah, that's right. This severe weather pushing through this area around 4 o'clock this morning. And just take a look at some of the damage it left behind. Uh, the homeowner here telling me she initially woke up to the sound of debris hitting her windows. She tried to get out of the kitchen door here, but she was unable to do so after this large tree toppled over, taking out part of this awning here. Now these homeowners, they are rushing to clean up before the next round of rain from Milton pushes through. I was asleep with my doggies in the bed and my husband had just left to work. And then all of a sudden I hear debris hitting the window. And I'm like, okay, this isn't uh, the storm yet. An unexpected wake up call for residents in Southwest Miami Dade after a strong storm and suspected tornado pushed through overnight, toppling trees and damaging several properties. This is my husband's family's property and they've been here for years and it's just sad to see it this way. This was a chicken coop. Brenda Lee Newton showing us the damage to her own home on Southwest 344th Street. She says she woke up around 4 a.m. to the sound of debris slamming against her windows. So when I went to open the kitchen door, I couldn't because a tree fell over. And um, I was like, oh, great. So then I tried to go out the front door and the same thing. All these trees were down. Seconds later, the power cut out. Newton receiving a tornado alert on her cell phone after the storm had already pushed through. The strong winds twisting her front gate, destroying her chicken coop and damaging her fence, allowing her neighbor's goats to get out. <laughs> Residents rushing to clean up with more weather from Milton's rain bands now on the way. Shocked because I've never seen this. I mean, I've been through Andrew, yes, but being alone and stuff like that, that was the scary part. Now, while the power has been restored to much of this area, this particular property is still sitting in the dark right now. That's because FPNL crews were unable to access it due to all of these downed trees. Now, these homeowners, they are just hoping they can get enough of this debris cleared up so they can get their power restored before the worst of Milton pushes through later on tonight. You can hear that cleanup still underway even at this hour. For now, that is the latest live from Southwest Miami-Dade. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.